Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Psychic Cup. Taking a look at a Goliath Slowking. So Goliath Slowking, I actually think is a pretty good Pokemon for a couple of reasons. One, the Hex is super effective and everything is Psychic. So most Pokemon are weak to it or at the very least uh, taking neutral damage. But aside from that, it's also a Poison type. So it is resisting Charm from Shadow Gallade, which is a very powerful move, right? So it's actually a really good Pokemon in my opinion in this meta. Uh, the opponent actually catches on their Malamar. Now Malamar is also part dark, so it's going to be taking neutral from that attack. In comes Lugia. Lugia probably wants to Dragon Tail down. This Foul Play is coming out. Lugia is definitely an interesting pick. Uh, Foul Play doing a lot of damage. Another one will KO, uh, but going to be able to farm down before they get to another one. Very nice. In comes Bangzang. Now this is not going to KO the Bangzang, but um, you might as well go for it, right? <laughs> so going to go ahead and go for that. Sky attack and can't get to another one. That is okay. Do you bring in the Slowking and try to hex down? Um, let's see. It looks like the Slowking is coming out. They will go ahead and throw an attack, and the Slowking will go ahead and shield. I think it probably can uh, farm down with hex, uh, and it is going to be able to. And they're going to go ahead and switch into Malamar. So Victini is coming in. Okay. Um, very interesting here. We're going to see this foul play come out into the Victini, and they do go ahead and shield it, and they throw the V Create. Okay, so very interesting. Uh, so now they're debuffed. Uh, so now the next foul play will KO. The opponent definitely, yeah, this foul play is coming out. This is going to KO. The opponent definitely needed to not uh, shield that. Uh, they should have let the first one go through the V Create, and then the, throw the next one after the debuffed. Something like that, right? And then the opponent would have been able to likely win that game, but that is okay. Or the opponent, I guess, could have charged up to two V creates as well and thrown them back to back. But either way, that is okay. Let's move on to the next one. Goliath's looking into Victini. So we're going to see a Shadow Ball. This is a heavy hitting move. They have to shield. They have to. And they do go ahead and shield. So now the switch into Lugia. Maybe Lugia trying to catch, but the opponent will go ahead and throw. Going to be a V create, most likely. It is. Uh, I've been using uh, Victini as well, really powerful. Out comes the Charm user. Uh, at least the Malamar is avoiding this, right? And we do see a Sky Tech probably picking up the shield. No, that does so much damage. You could easily hex down now. Um, and that's what you have to do. I mean, Malamar, yeah, you can't bring in Malamar. It's taking too much damage from Charm. Even the Slow King, which is a poison type, is still taking a lot from Charm. It's crazy how powerful Charm is. So in comes Goliath Rapidash, another great Pokemon I have been using. Um, this is a Body Slam. Slowking should be able to survive it, but we're still going to see a shield there. Um, and going to go ahead and throw this Shadow Ball right now. This Shadow Ball is going to, to be doing a lot of damage or picking up the shield, and it does pick up the shield. The next one should KO, but they CMP, I think. If you shield this, you can get this off. Although Body Slam honestly still probably doesn't KO, but still going to go ahead and shield that. Uh, so the Shadow Ball is coming out. This is obviously going to KO. Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch. And yeah, that's a Victini. 1v create. The Malamar survives. So it doesn't have to worry about this attack. Not going to KO it. Uh, and you can get off this Foul Play, which definitely would KO even if they were not debuffed. It should still KO, but they are debuffed. So definitely going to go ahead and KO. Yeah, and that's going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Here we go. I'm actually enjoying the Psychic Cup, uh, believe it or not. Let me know if you are. Um, I, I didn't think. I thought it would be like the Flying and Fighting Cup. I mean, not the greatest cup, but as of right now, I've only played it one day. I've been enjoying it. I don't know. Uh, Goliath Slowking into Metacham, of course. Uh, Ice Punch is going to connect, but it's not doing too much. Metacham is not one you see too often in this meta, uh, in the Psychic Cup. But we're going to see a Shadow Ball come out. That's going to KO. Oh, no, it's not. But one more Hex will pick up the knockout. Surprised that didn't KO, actually. In comes the beautiful Shiny. Going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Wave. Okay, I would have went for the Shadow Ball here. Uh, well, for one, they shielded, and I thought they would shield. But still, Shadow Ball is a powerful move. Uh, both attacks are neutral. Uh, but that's okay. Lugia is going to take this Foul Play. Going to be doing a lot. Able to get off the Sky Attack. You love to see it. So Sky Attack is coming out. Um, and it is going to get the final shield from the opponent. So the opponent is down both shields. Do you shield this and try to get to a sky attack or do you let this go? Uh, gonna go ahead and shield it. The Lugia really wants to get to a sky attack, but they're not able to unless if they shield this. Uh, I'm not gonna shield it, so I'm just gonna let this go. At least taking all the energy though from Malamar. Um, 
Okay, gonna go ahead and bring in your own Malamar. Uh, Malamar upper shield is pretty strong, so we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Uh, foul play's not gonna KO. And they bring in a Lowland Raichu. Oh my gosh, does a foul play one shot in a Lowland Raichu though? Prob uh, I wanna say yes. Oh no, it almost does, but you could Psycho Cut down. Beautiful, beautiful, even better. Uh, so able to get off this foul play, this is gonna KO. Yeah, I would say shields. Shield advantage, I would say matters probably over, um, yeah, I would say shield advantage definitely matters over, um, winning switch, um, I think. I mean, obviously, it depends in some situations. Obviously, you don't want Malama on Shadow Glade, but I've, oh, not Shadow Glade, Shadow Gardevoir, excuse me, but I've even beaten Shadow Gardevoir with Malama because if they're down shields, you can get to an attack, you know, you, if you have full health and they can't shield, so it all depends on, on shields. Uh, but either way, going up against this uh, Rapidash, so Glorian Rapidash, this is another body set. Gonna go ahead and shield it up. Um, and this, uh, yeah, Slow King gonna be able to get off the Shadow Ball. Let's see if the Rapidash dash decides to shield it. I love Glorian Rapidash in this meta. It's really frail, but it's really good. Able to catch that body slam. So pretty good catch there, although, I mean, this is still neutral, but still pretty good catch. And fortunately, the Dragon Tails are resisted. Um, so they're gonna be able to get off an attack. Uh, it's gonna get the Lugia low. Um, and this guy attack will KO or pick up the shield. The Rapidash has stayed in. We'll see what the opponent decides to do. And they let it go, okay. So Lugia, pretty low. Let's see what decides to come in. Gonna be a Bronzong. I battled quite a few Bronzongs as well. Um, hmm. Okay, gonna go ahead and bring in the Malamar, so Obviously, the foul play will do a lot of damage here. Not going to be enough to one-shot it, but it will do a lot. Uh, you need two foul plays to KO, but they do go ahead and shield as well. Um, and they do go ahead and throw an attack. Going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, let's see, is it, what is it going to be? It's going to be payback. And now we do see a switch. Once to get to the Shadow Ball, able to get it off. You love to see it. This will KO. Whereas the foul play wouldn't have Shadow Ball. It's a lot stronger. So that will be enough to KO. In comes Victini. Can you make it one more? I know you can. Oh, if you shield, I think... Oh, you can't shield. No, my shields are down. But they're going to be debuffed now. Uh, so this Malamar... This Malamar's foul play will KO now because that Victini is debuffed. It wouldn't have KO'd if it wasn't debuffed, but now because it's debuffed, it will. Yeah, that's going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers there. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. I want to try out a Glorian Slow King myself. As I said, I do think it's pretty solid for this better. Slow King into Slowbro, both Glorian forms. Um, you're getting the advantage, I would say. I mean, you're doing super effective damage with Hex, right? And this is going to KO if they don't shield, so they have to shield. Uh, they do not shield, so it just KOs it. Very nice. Great situation. In comes the Rapidash. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for another Shadow Ball. Not before a Body Slam comes in. Uh, you survive this. You could shield, and the Slow King is gonna go ahead and shield. Never mind, it's a Mega Horn. Okay, Rapidash gets to its move so fast. I didn't even think they got to the, the Mega Horn, but they did. This is just a Body Slam, but uh, that was a good call to shield that. Uh, Slow King is gonna go ahead and go for this attack right now. And that will get the shield. One more. Yep, able to get it off. You love to see it. So, uh, this is gonna come out, this Shadow Ball. And that will KO the Goliath and Rapidash. In comes Malamar, you can get to one more. I mean, if they attempt to fun down, you can. And they are attempting to fun down. Keep in mind, Slow King is a poison type, the Goliath version. So it is taking neutral damage from the Psycho Cut. Uh, we see the Malamar come in after picking up that shield. Uh, so the opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack. Going to be a foul play, okay. And they have another foul play, yeah, of course. So Malamar is going to go ahead and shield it up. Um, and looks like they want to go for a Hyper Beam. But the opponent does get off another foul play. That's how much energy they had. Uh, so this foul play is not going to KO, but we do see the Hyper Beam. Hmm. Well, let's see if this KOs, because if this doesn't KO, maybe going for the two foul plays would have been better, but it actually just does KO. Never mind. Okay, it, do, it did KO. Very nice. Does so much damage. Yeah, I do recommend Hyper Beam in this format, because Super Power you obviously don't need, because Super Power is resisted against everything, so you don't want it, um, because all the psychic types are resisting it. But okay, so let's see how this plays out. Um, gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball with the Goliath Slow King. Uh, they probably shield this. We know this does so much damage, it would KO it. So, might as well. They do throw an attack. 
uh, slow king gonna go ahead and shield it up it is going to be a bulldoze so that would okay so that's a good shield uh we're gonna see this uh, shadow ball come out uh will the bongs on decide to double shield they do double shield uh now the switch into malama okay bongs is staying in and able to get off this foul play which is very nice i don't think this ko's i'm pretty sure this doesn't ko uh never mind it does okay okay uh, so in comes the opposing malama so we're gonna go ahead and go for the hyper beam the opponent is out of shields here able to get it off you love to see it so now it did ko the other malama but this one malama's higher health i think yeah it is so it didn't ko that one um so the opponent will get off an attack gonna be a superpower okay so that malama is running superpower again i do recommend hyper beam but you're mostly probably going to be going for the foul plays uh, Superpower is neutral towards Malamar though, because uh, Malamar is a dark type as well. But two foul plays would have gotten the job done, just as two superpowers did. Uh, they're gonna bring in Victini. The Shadow Ball will be enough to end Victini's existence in this battle. So we're going to see this uh, Shadow Ball come out. Beautiful Shadow Ball there, and in comes the Lugia to Dragon Tail it all the way down, and that is gonna be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. We are moving on, ladies and gentlemen. So. Uh, let's see uh, how the next game goes. Going to be Goliath Slow King into Garba. Okay, so again, I did mention that Slow King, of course, is a poison type, so it is resisting charm. But the charms are still doing a good amount of damage. Uh, look how much damage it's doing. Um, so we're going to see a Shadow Ball come out. The Shadow Ball obviously is going to KO. I imagine they shield it. Um, Slow King is trying to get to one more. Able to get to one more. Okay, so the Slow King is either going to be able to take Switch or shield advantage uh, i mean if they didn't shield it would have taken both but they go down two shields beautiful um yeah you gotta bring in the lugia uh you can actually dragon tail this down look how much lugia is taking too this is crazy shadow god of War. i mean it is really good like it is really good for this meta but god of War goes down you love to see it and i mean lugia and the malama still have shields so in comes malama clado two foul plays will ko um so that's likely what we're going to see. Uh, actually, it's definitely going to be what we're going to see. Maybe an over farm. Um, no, they're just going to go ahead and go for it right away. So the Claydol doesn't get to a move. That makes sense because you don't want the Claydol to get to a move, right? So that is going to KO. Uh, Bangzang is coming out. Able to get off this foul play. Keep in mind, you still have a shield. So you can shield whatever attack they throw and then get to another or, uh, foul play. So that is beautiful. And the opponent looks like they just concede there. Or maybe not. I guess not. Maybe they lagged a little bit. But either way, Malabar is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a heavy slam. And we do see this foul play come out. And of course, this is going to be enough to KO. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers, of course. Um, so beautiful. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. I'm enjoying these battles. I'm really enjoying the Psychic Cup. I really am. Uh, I didn't think I would, as I said, but I am. Okay, so it's Slow King versus Slow King, the Goliath versus the Johto one. Um, that That's a Confusion one, and Confusion, of course, is neutral towards the Goliath Slow King because of the Poison and Psychic typing, but the Shadow Ball will be enough to KO. They do go ahead and shield. Um, gonna go ahead and switch out into the Shadow Lugia. They're gonna be able to throw an attack. What is it? I don't think, it doesn't have Shadow Ball, right? It has Water Pulse, it has Psychic. Okay, so Lugia did shield that one up. In comes Hypno. Wow, talk about spice here. I have not battled the Hypno in the Psychic Cup yet, but we're going to see uh, the Sky Attack come in. This Lugia is single moved, but the opponent does not know that, and they do go ahead and shield it. And we do see another attack come in, another Sky Attack. And that will connect. Um, I mean, you probably let Lugia go, I, I would say, right? And then farm down. Uh, it's actually going to be 5 punch, so it's not going to KO. Uh, maybe they were baiting there, or... I don't know. I feel like if you run Hypno, I feel like you definitely run uh, Shadow Ball. But either way, Lugia goes down, uh, and then you Hex down. Yep, going to be able to Hex down. Beautiful. Getting ahead on energy, and in comes the Bangzang. Bangzang is going to be hit with the super effective Shadow Ball. It doesn't one-shot from Phil Health, but it almost does. Uh, it does a lot of damage. Uh, they do switch out into Slow King. Slow King is going to go ahead and go down to this Shadow Ball. And, and this is going to be a good game because you still have a Malamar with a shield. Yep. Yeah, saving a shield, if you have shield advantage, is huge. Um, as I've mentioned before, I have beaten Gardevoir with Malamar because you can get to an attack. And Gardevoir is so squishy. Foul play does a lot of damage, right? 
Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, if Shields are up, you can't win that matchup, of course, because that Chong just eats right through Malamar. But let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Uh, we'll see how the next game goes. We do have Goliath Slow King into Malamar, okay? So Malamar is a dark type, uh, as we know, so it's taking neutral from the Hex and Shadow Ball attacks. But uh, still decent damage. We're going to see the Shadow Ball come out. It's still going to do a lot. Still going to do a lot. So uh, the opponent going to actually go ahead and shield and then in comes Lugia. Uh, again, the foul play is still going to be doing a lot. Super effective damage, but going to go ahead and let it go uh, because it's going to be able to take it. Uh, this one it can't take though, so Lugia will go ahead and shield this one up. Uh, so there we go. Able to get us the Sky Attack. Uh, the Sky Attack might pick up the shield. The opponent is not switching out. They do shield it up. Maybe they don't have a great response. Oh, but they actually switch out now into Galarian Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash is going to be hit with the Sky Attack. Will they go ahead and shield this or will they let this go? Uh, they let it go. It's a really, really frail Pokemon. Uh, they're going for the Fawn Down. No, they're not. Okay, I thought they were going for the Fairy Wind Fawn Down, but no. Uh, they're going to throw this Play Rough. Okay, interesting, interesting. Maybe they don't have Body Slam. Um, I, I like the moveset Body Slam uh, and Mega Horn because Mega Horn is super effective towards the Psychic types, right? Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to see the Malabar come in. They're going to be able to throw a Foul Play. Goliath and Slow King is going to go ahead and respect it and shield that. And then the switch into Malamar. Needs to get to this foul play to KO it and able to get it off. Now this Malamar does have 15 attacks, so it's going to be winning CMP. In fact, it actually uh, won CMP against a Victini earlier. Um, and the thing is, my Malamar is a rank 26, so it has very low attack. Uh, so I actually have been losing CMP to Victini. So I guess it depends. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it depends uh, on the, the rank uh, of the Pokemon. Maybe it's, it's IV dependent with Victini. Uh, and Malamar, I did, which I did not know prior to this because I've never used those Pokemon before. Uh, so, pretty interesting fact there and good to know as well. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and move into the next one. Uh, Goliath Loking into Goliath Loking. So we do have a mirror match for the final battle. Um, very, very cool. They do actually switch out. Maybe trying to catch, but you still go ahead and throw a Shadow Ball. This is going to go ahead and be the Body Slam, but Loking can take it. Um, yeah, definitely go ahead and still throw the Shadow Ball because it's probably still enough to KO and even if it isn't, it will get it very low and they're likely to shield, which they do. So we're going to go ahead and go for another Shadow Ball. This Shadow Ball is going to, is it going to get the shield as well? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, a Shadow Ball definitely KOs. Uh, shield, trying to get to a Shadow Ball. I don't know where they're at in terms of energy, just going to let it go, okay. Um, let's see here. What do you bring in? Gonna be bring in a Malamar. Malamar with the foul play will be enough to KO. This is gonna be uh, well. This is gonna be probably body slam. I'm gonna go ahead and shield. No, it's a play with that. Is a good shield. I'm gonna uh, throw this foul play now. Probably would have charged up a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, and in comes Jirachi. Ooh, interesting. Okay, Jirachi is gonna be hit with this foul play right now. Uh, it's going to be doing super effective damage towards the Jirachi and a lot at that. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Lugia. They bring in their Slow King. Shadow Ball is definitely going to put on a beating uh, towards the Lugia. Almost enough to KO it. They can Hex down, which is actually kind of scary there. But um, in comes Malamar. Unfortunately, Slow King is going to be able to get off its attack first. Um, so it's going to be Shadow Ball doing a lot, not enough to KO. This Foul Play is going to come out. Going to undercharge it? No, not going to undercharge it. Um, and all you need to do is shield this and get to a Foul Play and take this game, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think they, they make it to another Doom Desire. Uh, yeah, this is going to be enough to KO, and that is going to be a great game and a great uh, video series. Thank you so much for submitting the content to me. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.